What's up guys, it's your boy Garbrins and today we're talking about I am Sean. Everybody's favorite build, the most anticipated build of 2016. This is the build guide for it. I decided to make a build guide. In tradition of every I am video, people will drop in Lenny faces begging for a build guide in the video being like, build, build guide please. So here we are talking about Sean. <laughs> Sean. Okay, so I'm on my Pyromancer right now. I was so stoked just to like not play that fucking build anymore that I instantly switched back to my Pyromancer and then I realized I had to do a build guide. So now I'm kind of just like playing with spells because fucking oh my god, man. That Sean build is literally the worst thing ever. Someone in the comments was like, clearly you don't know how to make a sword build. I was like, dude. Dude, dude, it's not meant to be serious. So I have to go re-roll those god-awful stats real quick. I don't even know what I put shit into. Give me one second, guys. <laughs> oh, god. I can't, it's like awful doing it a second time over. Okay, so 37. <laughs> 32 attunement. 38 endurance. This is like hard for me to do a second time right now. All right, and Sean is born again. All right, so now we're back on that Sean build. Oh, but I got the, hold on. I fucked up. Wait a sec. Let's talk about the Sean build. We're at my favorite testing spot right now in Dark Souls 3 where we're testing the mob up top. But in order to talk about Sean's pro stats, we need to get in uniform to talk about MLG Dark Souls 3 Doritos flavor Mountain Dew Pro strats. Ah. Hold on, I look really red in my webcam. That's starting to bother me. I wanted to do like a good face cam. Everyone's like, yo, Coverins, we need to see your face, bruh. Oh yeah, nice. Aesthetic. So there is some stuff I should talk about with this build. Um and that is mostly the Firelink Greatsword and how you guys just probably shouldn't use it. But it has some like valuable moves to it. It's got its own moveset. It's pretty sick. It's pretty fucking sick. And with these rings on, you know what I'm saying? It's just so good. So you got like this whole swingy thing. That's pretty sweet in PvP. So you run at people. It's your running R1. So when you sprint at people, you do this whole little... Nope, that's not that's not right. Okay, so you just got this whole like swing thing, you know? It's it works out. It's pretty sweet. And uh and it's really helpful for getting people that are like hyper aggressive towards you or that are not so aggressive. It's like a really good approaching move. So if they're not gonna parry you, you just run R1 with them. And you get this whole this whole swang and motion going. And it's actually it's actually pretty sweet with the firelink great sword, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I highly recommend using that if you plan on using the firelink great sword for whatever fucking reason ever. Um, it's got a pretty sweet moveset on it at times, although the weapon art isn't that great and it doesn't have the greatest scaling So I mean, you know what I'm saying like use as you please, you know, it's 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 uh Yeah, this build wasn't meant to be a good build in case anyone was curious about it And like if you watch that Sean video if you watched the stream He's like he goes like power within to get them bonus points. <laughs> oh god, and then he goes in and he like gets the whole the whole attack thing going um, this this is probably a part where I'll mention something and that is the insane stun lock that this weapon has You can stun lock shit with the firelink greatsword I think you can stun lock with pretty much any greatsword really because there's no poise that actually exists in the game um, And everything we thought about poise is not really real at all But I mean is life even real though? We're just gonna go ahead and stun lock this dude And I don't know if it'll work on NPCs, but it does it does so obviously stun locked hard uh, And that works fantastic in PvP once I realized I could just like walk up to people and just fucking give her and just do one of these and it would stop them in their tracks, I was like, damn, this is how I win duels with this shoddy ass build is I literally walk up to them and I just go boom, go boom. And that's, that's literally like press R1 to win with this great sword. That's like all you need to know about winning anything with a Firelink great sword. You also got this like really ballsy, like jumping great sword slash. You know, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know the movesets of most great swords because I don't use great swords. I only cast, ever. So, this is all pretty new to me, and I figure I share these tips and tricks while we're at it, like, you know, might as well. Um, but then you got this guy, and it's like a, it's like a jumping, it's like, oh, fuck. It's like a jumping attack, right? And it, like, staggers them and locks them into place. So, after I figured out you could do one of those, too, I got real, real cocky with my moves. 
and uh, if you could kind of time that out like you could in any sort of casting situation, then you had that whole you had that whole shebang going on. Minus that, you'll never really use the heavy on this. I kind of never really used it because it was just too cumbersome to actually use it. But you get you get this whole like ba bam, you know, get in. You just get one. Oh fuck, he's gonna kill me, guys. <laughs> Shit, stop. Come on, you know, you get that whole like slamming move down. And it deals some serious, some serious Skrilla, you know, it's not bad. So, like, that was kind of cool. And, you know, I got Red Tearstone active right now, so that's pretty sweet. Up my attack. And, uh, once again, that was, that was pretty helpful as well with this build. Considering I would, like, almost die a lot of the times. And I lost a lot of duels in this build. Usually I can, like, honestly say, like, I do pretty go good for, like, win-loss when it comes to dueling. But this fucking build, I had, like, 16 losses in, like, five wins and then two weren't worth keeping so i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys this this is literally the worst build ever sean is just the fucking worst and then you got the weapon art which you will once again never use and it does this whole like slam it down and then your blade becomes all fiery and stuff and then i don't think it does extra damage let's just see okay it does do a little extra i don't know do a little extra when the when the dank man gives you a little extra it's not bad um, but you'll never use the fucking weapon art. This is just like by the <laughs> You're never gonna use that. I'm just saying and you know what I mean? There's just no there's just no fucking point. So I mean yeah, fuck you <laughs> All right, so when you combine all these moves together We get a somewhat viable player using a really shoddy build because I figured out the move set and I was like This is how you win. So you're going for the approach. You kind of like swing around You're like watch out watch out and you just quit the brand Give him one of those 420 smoke weed every day. So give him one of those, and then you get the approach on. That's when you start stun locking them. You get that whole heavy swing in here. Um, you know, you get the idea. It's like, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, it's you get it, you get it going on. You can use that shit whenever. It's great. And then we start to work on the pyromancy. So Sean was our avid user of power within, as we saw on the stream, and I, you know, you get the fucking idea. So like if you're PvP in and then you get some distance, you just whip out the firestorm, which I actually got a couple people with, which is great. And it just does a little 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 tickle damage there. Bursting fireball freaks him out, and then you get in there with the whole two-handed and you just what da and you give him the stun lock and do one of those and just give her a heavy swing to finish it off. It's like boom boom. You just won with the shitty Sean build. Ah uh, yeah boy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that we've talked about the move set behind everything the Firelink Greatsword has to offer and a little bit about Pyromancy, which I'm not going to get into because if you want to learn about Pyromancy, you can just watch my other video talking about actual Pyromancy and it's great. Otherwise, the equipment here, um, Firelink Greatsword, because that's what Sean used. The Sh Sean used the entire Firelink set. He, he was no stranger to the entirety of everything Firelink. He was, he was straight repping it. He was like, this is my jam. My name is Sean. I'm gonna fucking forest invade you. He knew what's up. Just clip this real quick. All right, here we go. All right, and then our ring synergy. Okay, let me tell you about the rings. Wolf ring plus one. Increase the poise. Important as Sean. Witch's ring greatly boosts pyromancies because, you know, your firestorm, it's just, it's not gonna deal any damage if you don't fucking got that witch's ring on, you know what I'm saying? Red tearstone ring because you'll lose a lot of HP as Sean and you'll want the extra attack. Ring of favor plus two because it does a lot of cool things. Uh, HP increase, stamina, maximum equip load, which. I feel like if you're playing this build, you will need every advantage you could get. So here we are. As far as the actual stats go, there was like some thought kind of put into the stats, but like not really, but like kind of. I wanted everything to look like really shitty and off. Like everything's just kind of off a little bit because that's the build that Sean was running. It's like, it's like if you, if you, if someone just started playing Dark Souls and they were like, Fucking YOLO. This is what it would look like. This is like what a brand spanking new Dark Souls player looks like. So we got 37 bigger. You know what I'm saying? You need them eight you need them HP points as Sean. It's important. 32 attunement. Usually I would go to 40, but hey, Sean only uses like a selective, like three or four spells. So that's important. Endurance, 38, because you will need the stamina as Sean. Now vitality, 
at 16 because you will actually need better weight so you can use the equipment that Sean uses, which is the Firelink set. Strength at 31 because of the scaling of the Firelink Greatsword. Very important. And it also scales with dexterity. So, if I was a legitimate Sean player, okay, get this. I'd take away probably all my spells, not even bother with Pyromancy, and then scale the sword from strength and dexterity because that is mostly what it scales off of. So you can put those guys at 40-40 because those are the soft caps for those two stats and you would have a potentially maybe somewhat good Firelink Greatsword build. But Sean don't play games, okay? He, he's about them hybrids, okay? He like, he like probably drives a Prius or something, you know what I'm saying? Dexterity is still at 11 though, just for the casting speed. With Sage's Ring plus one and Dexterity at 11, pretty sure you get max casting speed and that's pretty good. That's like what you want if you're casting anything. I mean, that's like acceptable, so. Uh, intelligence at 21, Faith at 21 for Pyromancies. Once again, this would be a much more viable build if you had no spells whatsoever and we're just basing your build around the Firelink Greatsword. If you don't know how to build, Sean, I'm looking at you, then please refer to my really bad Lucky Sorcerer um, how to make a build video that got a lot of flack. Some dude was like, this guy doesn't understand how to play Dark Souls. I'm like, what do you mean? I wanted to make a Lucky Sorcerer build based around the stats of... Anyways, not important. I just people are fucking silly sometimes. Uh, luck at seven because luck is useless unless you're actually using it for something, such as a lucky sorcerer. So like, there was some thought to the design on that one, like, like a little bit, you know, just like a little. You know what I'm saying. So let's see if we can't win a duel real quick with Sean. This bell, man, is just brutal. Okay, but we're gonna win at least one. Just for the sake, just for Sean's sake, okay? I want that guy to like find this video or like the build videos. I'm just gonna pop an ember because I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. But sorry, like I was saying, I want the guy that actually played the legitimate Sean to find this set of videos and be like, oh my God, that's me. I am literally a meme. If you know Sean, let him know, okay? Your boy Goverins says, oh, what up? All right. Time to channel my inner Sean on this one. Here he is, that's my boy right there. Let's pop some green blossom for the sake of popping green blossom. Taysa, let's do it. I didn't mean to sit. <laughs> okay, Sean, let's go. Let's give her one last good go around, all right? Okay. Miyazaki, please. Oh, nice! I don't know how that didn't hit, but okay. Don't even start with your bullshit fucking spear garbage. You're just, you're just, you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing against Sean! <laughs> you ain't nothing against Sean, boy! Oh shit! I jumped, but it fucking knocked me down. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, we need some bursting fireballs. That's what we need. Maybe a little, mix it up with a little bit of chaos bed. Let's get it in there. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> oh God. Not dead. Not dead. Yo, just fucking chill, dude. Just chill. Let Sean win. Let Sean win this final duel. Okay. This guy is just going now with the cheese strats. He's serious. He doesn't want to fucking lose. All right, here we go. Oh, now he's like lagging around. Who do you think you need fucking think you are? Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Get. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. You can never trust those like running fucking attacks because oh god i don't know why i did that i thought i was gonna die this is this is where i die most likely by the way i'm just saying you can never just like win with fucking sean oh god sean yeah we got okay we got a draw i'm happy with that i'm okay i was like i'm fucking done with that build you know what i'm saying although at the same time too that guy sucked that guy was an asshole and that is i am sean and the thought 
and process that went behind it. That's everything I have to talk about for today, guys. As I always say, drop a like for ya boy, Goblins. And I'll be back here with more Dark Souls 3 stuff and Pokemon Go stuff shortly. And for anyone that's wondering about Dark Souls 3 patch notes right now, they're on the way. I'm literally just waiting till that patch comes out for PC. So then I can watch everyone data mine it and then relay it to you guys and let you guys know what's up with the new patch and regulation and everything. So it's coming. It is coming. I'm just, I'm waiting for it right now. That's all. I gotta see, I gotta get you guys the most accurate information possible before I actually talk about it. Because one time, let me tell you what, one time I made a patch notes video without really knowing anything that happened in the patch notes and people just fucking shit on it. So like never again. So yeah, that's happening. So take it easy. Have a general good and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out! Oh, 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 o